is not Satoshi. Uh, UK court ruled against him, and uh, he sued a bunch of people. So now they're likely going to sue him back uh, after he forged documents, and he's basically a liar, is what the court said. Um, you know, uh, so it's going to be interesting to see what happens with that. But it's basically concluded he's not Satoshi. Get over it. Move on. I've always contended this for years, and it looks like I was proven right. And another thing we have is the halving coming up for Bitcoin. So this is going to get interesting. It's about uh, 31 days out, about a month, basically. So I'm going to be talking more about this as well. You'll see as in the video, I'm going to become a lot more bullish as we get closer to this time. Dun, dun, dun. Anyway, on to the video. Enjoy. Morning. Okay. So I've waited and waited, and I've gotten an area that I'm comfortable with. And I've taken off 10% hedge short um, from this 32, around 32.50, let's say. And uh, you can see this area right here is what I'm focused on, on the short term. This is its support zone. We'll keep it yellow because it's kind of an unknown. That's what I do with transitory places set on the chart. But technically it could be considered a blue zone where you would buy on a retracement uh, after this pullback from the 4K area, which is logical. Um, this would make the most sense. And I'll show you what I would expect to have happen going out into the future. Now, as well, I also started buying Bitcoin down here, right under the 63K area. And the reason being is because on a percentage, and if I look right here, right there around 62,795 is the exact area. This rate 62.95. There we go. That's the exact number that I'm looking at on this because this boom, 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 boom. Okay, that's the pattern right there. So, this right here is what I was looking for as being a point of interest where people would start buying as well. It works out to being a percentage of this zone right here. Next under that would be over here is where I would look to start buying more. So I'm into the buy um, zone and what would I look for on this? Well, I, like I said before, I'm looking for 83 all the way up here as the next area of interest. And I think what will happen is we'll get up to 83K and then bounce down back to the 70k area after that occurs right to around here you see this right here this was what the fibs would do so the extension upward and then drop back down to here which i would buy again um, so that's my plan and now what i've also done is i've dumped xrp i dumped it i basically it's too blah on a percentage basis going out forward into the future. Um, might not be a great idea to do this, but because uh, diversity is good, but I've decided to move it into Bitcoin and Ethereum. And um, yeah, that's just my own personal choice. So XRP is history. Um, doesn't mean it won't do well in the future. It's just not something I'm really interested in. And so they've kind of lost their top five placement. Um, they're no longer top five in the uh, top coins as far as uh, coin market cap goes. So that concerns me. And um, there's other ones that are building um, to take their place. So XRP is no longer a top uh, coin. And um, yeah, so I started buying Bitcoin and Ethereum. 
and uh, took off that one head short on Ethereum. And this zone is what I'm looking at for. This is the one I'm more, more um, positive on because it has plenty of upside potential. Um, I was surprised it didn't get a little bit higher than this low 4K area. I was expecting it to get up to the mid 4K with where Bitcoin making new highs. You know, then it would have made more sense. It lags, but that didn't happen. So, whatever, that's fine. Um, now, on the flip side, if it keeps going lower, uh, the next area that I would be looking for is under the 3K and all the way down to that 2700 area down here. Um, if we continue down, uh, that would be what I would be looking for on Ethereum to buy more. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, I've got a lot of people asking me questions about Solana because of the big up move it had. And I'll show you what it has done here. Let's go to a longer chart. This thing is just taken off. It did not even sweat anything when it went up to here. I had a small amount of this and I sold it above here. So uh, I'm out of Solana. And on a pullback, I would expect it to get all the way back down to around 197, this area down here. And it might not do that. It might just keep going higher and higher. Uh, it's had such a great move. But you have to also remember, this has got a wide range. This went all the way from the $15 range all the way to where we are right now in the $200 range. On a percentage basis, that is crazy. And you got to be careful with these because these are wide ranging. Uh, these are the altcoins. But yeah, um, uh, so I'm not in Solana and uh, I think that I'm just going to wait and see what it does and see what kind of pullback we, we get on it. But you can get numbers that go all the way back down here. Remember this came where it came from and how long ago. This is just October of last year. So you think about that in terms of time, you know, it's about five, six months. That's crazy. So anyway, um, that's where we are with Solana. And one that I also liked is Avalanche. It's made a big up move. But again, it has that pattern too. And boom, 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 and then boom. Now on an extension basis, it's not really as big. But let's go over and see where we are with it. kind of stuck in the middle and still has more upside that it can do. If it was to catch up to Solana, it would be up in these areas up here in the 70s or higher. So Avalanche is doing very well. That was one of my favorites from the past. And let's look at some of the new guys, like the SUI. Do, 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 do. This pulled back. This one had a really fast pullback over here. Um, I'm not really doing anything with this right now. I'm just watching it. Uh, there's nothing to do. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. It has numbers that go all the way in the future. It's numbers that go up to eight and up to this three to four dollar range right up to here. That's what I would be looking for in the future. I think this is one that will have greater long-term possibilities, uh, along with SEI. Um, you can see the spike this one had, and then the spike down. And these are highly volatile. Yeah. So you have to keep that in mind. These can have really wide ranges. These are the new, new coins, the new altcoins. And this one's looking at around the $4 range and going out into the future. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, I keep getting asked about Pepe. So I'm going to bring up Pepe. You can see the pullback that we had on this. It has gone down to here. Do, 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 do. Let's see. It 
was way overextended, but now it's pulled back. Um, and it's kind of like a blah chart, so I'm not uh, looking really to do anything with this right now. But if you want to play the Momo for the long side, I would be looking for numbers to get further down on this one. It had a really big move. Remember where we came from. And um, this is just a matter of weeks. So it's moved in uh, lifetimes of a frog uh, span. <laughs> Uh, that's all I could say is that, you know, this move that it had here, this is from February, and you need to, to think about this, of just a, a year, right? Um, no, I'm sorry, what am I saying, a year? Let's go back one year from today, 24. This is when it was a great trade way back here and eight cents. Yeah, this is when I was talking about it. It's been about a year. Um, and then it took off from here, which was just a matter of a few months now. Uh, and look at the explosion it went from. So this one has been just incredible, the, the moves that it's made. Uh, but Again, uh, nothing to really look at here. Uh, people that held it from when it was down in these numbers all the way down here, fantastic. You got paid off big time. Same with Doge. If you remember Doge over here, I had a free ride on this one. Uh, it was an easy breakout. It was lagging uh, Pepe, believe it or not, which was nuts, but it did. But this goes all the way back further in the chart. And, you know, this was the area down here. You know, this five cent range. So I don't have to tell you. You know, people that held on to that. You know, these are meme coins, not something I put in a great deal of money into. So um, the moves are, it's nice, but kind of taking risk when you do that with these but from eight to five cents I mean from where it's gone all the way up to the 20 cent range and it has higher to go I think it's going to get numbers that go all the way up to the 45 cent range so your possibilities for profit still exist a great deal here longer term in my view and I just think that's going to be a matter of months before we get numbers all the way up here. So I look at a lot of these charts and I say to myself, there's plenty of upside available, um, especially for the altcoins. Uh, they could have much bigger moves. And if we go to a leader like Pepe and its giant move up that, that it had, that's an indicator. That's telling you about other altcoins overperforming. And that's sure, certainly been the case. Uh, Solantana, you know, the, the percentages of what this went. And look at what it went on a percentage basis from its all-time high here to its all-time low down here and how it retraced. So that was uh, um, easy to see at some point when these do that retracement. Now consider a percentage of the range that you had from this high to low. And then you look at a, a doge, right? And you look at its percentage of range from high to low. It's not even close. It has tons of upside. So if that's the case in a percentage basis of these uh, coins play catch up, um, they'll pull a, a, a doge will turn into a Pepe. Uh, if that happens, then the old all time highs get broken. Uh, but if it just catches up and goes to the percentage of the, the range, oh, there's a little dog, for me. Um, then what you're looking at are numbers that go all the way up to here. So that's what I would be expecting on Doge. I would be very much looking for a much higher move up. And yeah, now one of the other things I 
kept getting asked about is the big move that we've had in um, in um, Canoe. Uh, it's spiked up and everybody's excited about it. Did it on volume. Um, fantastic. Uh, but I'm not interested in this until you get numbers that go all the way up to like 10 and above and even up to the $20 range around. So, you know, again, I don't have a lot of this, but uh, I am looking for numbers that go all the way up. So on a percentage basis, you know, you can see uh, a five to uh, eight X return in this from the, the lows that we've had over here easily, and probably even more than that because look at where it ran off of, ran off of the here and then goes up to almost four. Uh, this has plenty of room for the upside. Um, we'll see, maybe they're getting bought out. That's my only contention. That's what I would be looking for in the future for them to do. It's very inexpensive and there's probably a lot of tech that they have that people want their designs and their, um, it would make sense the pullback we've had in the electrical vehicle market. So we'll see what happens there. So other than that, uh, yeah, uh, silver. Silver is broken out. Now all it's gonna do is take out these highs here. And uh, you know, I, I've gone on about this since last year. It's done everything. Uh, it went down here. Went up to here as resistance, made all kinds of patterns, pulled back this target, this last target hit in the $21 range, makes it a bull market time. So now all it has to do is take out these highs up here and then continue upward to 36. This is the first small target and then 50s from there. So I, I think that's going to happen. Um, I think silver and gold are going to start getting some love, and it's it has to do with inflation. Uh, just simply put, it'll catch up. Uh, this is all pandemic type of stuff. Uh, the only thing standing in its way is the fact that Bitcoin is getting so much love, um, and I think that'll continue off into the future. But yeah, so moral of the story, I started buying Bitcoin again. And I'm looking for 83K. I'm looking for 83 right up here. That's the next number up. This is nowhere near a top. So I've gone in and I got lots of money on the sideline. So I can be aggressive um, adding to my HODL position for much longer turnovers, which I'll probably discuss in the next video. I'll do an update on one look you know, uh, what percentage and what I'm looking for. And uh, it's the, the I, I want uh, 138 and above, uh, probably closer to the 150 mark as the minimum, the minimum. And then from there, as high as the 400,000 mark. So we'll say anyway, I'll go over that in future video. Um, not much to really go on about except for I've dumped my XRP. That's the story of the day. And um, I put it into Ethereum and uh, Bitcoin on this pullback uh, from under 6,300 and under in the 32 uh, on Ethereum, the 3260 range, 50, 60 in that area right there. Um, so, yep. Um, and what I would look for uh, from here is if we break down and continue lower, what I'm looking for here is that I want to see numbers that go all the way back to here, probably that 2700 on 2700 on Ethereum. And for Bitcoin, I'd like numbers to get under its previous zone in this area up here from the 60 uh, all the way down to here. So, yeah, I'll be buying the down moves, but you know what I'm looking for? I'm looking for 44, 
4,400 on Ethereum and 83K as the next logical area on Bitcoin. I do not think this is a top. This 70, around 73, 74. But that's not up to me. It's up to the charts. We'll see. Uh, but I will be buying for higher highs is all that I can say from here. And um, the one altcoin that I like right now, even with this pullback, this is my favorite right here. I think we will see bigger numbers to the upside, and I think it has yet to roll. I'm going to look for Doge, to the dog, to come back. You're the dog. <laughs> Get the dragon. Um, and look for uh, numbers that get all the way up here so I can see a big run in this meme coin. And I'm sure Elon's going to come out and say something at some point. Maybe. Uh, we'll see. Anyway, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.